Alright guys, and welcome to episode 5 of this um, ER2012 Expedition for Propane Gaming HD and yeah, we're going to crack straight, well we're not going to crack straight on I'm going to show you progression first and as you can see I have got a win in Luxembourg, a win in Belarus, a win in Romania but obviously to actually complete the entire nations you do have to win in those nations 3 times and then in group E we have got a win in San Marino and a win in Moldova so I've not really done that much there. Group G, I've not played a single team. There is Bulgaria available to me. I'm just choosing not to play them at the minute. Just going to try and complete other groups first. In Group H, we have completed Cyprus. We've beaten Norway once and we've beaten Iceland once. And yeah, I decided after all after looking through, I decided to end up playing Hungary. So our first match is against Hungary and they have Rudolf up front. So I don't know if that's really cheating. If you can have a reindeer playing, is it an advantage or is it not an advantage? And we started off really well. As you can see here in the second minute, Emin got the ball, had a shot, fired it off the post. And I will be saying that so many times this episode, you do, you do not realise. Because there again, I hit the post and they somehow managed to keep it out. That was in the 19th minute. Then in the 25th minute, they had a chance with Rudolf. But, yeah, I don't really know what happened here. And then the referee decided to give a penalty. I, I mean, I'm not... I don't, I don't really know why at all. And then Mercus picked up a yellow card. I mean, I'll show you the replay here. I mean, if you can tell me what is a penalty, then I, I'd, I'd be very happy to know. Because apparently that is a penalty when it looked like it was nothing. But, yeah... Like I said, the reindeer stepped up and slotted away the penalty to make it 1-0, although he hit the post as well. So, yeah, within 28 minutes has been the hitting of the post three times. So, yeah, I mean, they went 1-0 up and I was a bit frustrated. And then we came back in the 55th minute with Costazano and he put it into the back of the net. Yes, you thought it was going to hit the post, but no, not this time. It did go into the bottom corner and we leveled it up at 1-1, to -1, which is pretty decent. So I thought, yeah, OK, now we can crack on, hopefully get the winner that we need. But we couldn't really. And in the 85th minute, I swung in a free kick, but... It went past the post and yeah, we had to settle for that. So it was 1-1 at full time and we move on into extra time. And yeah, we got the ball again. Troposky gave it to me and I hit the post again. I mean, I'm not re I am repeating myself here, but it's not like I'm not stuck on replay or anything. And then in the 105th minute, we got a penalty, which it, again... I don't have a clue why, so fair enough, the referees leveled it up on penalties. And yeah, I stepped up with Swifty to take the penalty. But for some reason, I've been missing them a lot recently, and I did the exact same again. The, the keeper's just been guessing where I've been going all the time. I mean, even if it's on just an offline kickabout match or just having a, or just doing something, um, a career mode with my friend or something. And yeah, in the 105th minute, we hit the post again. So I would like to know how many times that is because I, I'm completely lost how many times we have actually hit the post. And as you can see there, we have had seven shots on target. They have had one. We've had 13 shots. They've had four. So it's quite frustrating. And we move on into the penalty shootout. And I decided to miss out the, the first three penalties because obviously at this point it's all even. But yeah, I mean, um, that that now means that we are... If, if we score this with Swifty, we do go one ahead. So, yeah, I was quite glad to finally put it into the back of the net, which meant I actually scored a penalty, which now means that we are leading in the penalty shootout. And if they missed this penalty, that would be game over. We would take... Well, we won't take the three points because there's no points to be taken, but you know what I mean. We would take the victory and we would move on, hopefully, and progress. Unfortunately, though, they did manage to slot it away. Put it straight down the middle. The stutter is illegal. Should have been called back, but it doesn't happen in FIFA. So then I stepped up against Gabo Kirai, I think, and yeah, I, I well, it wasn't me, but it was me, if that makes sense. It was it was Bjorn Helgerisa. He stepped up to take the penalty, and he chipped it excellently into the back of the net. So we did win that match on penalty shoot on penalty kicks, which a bit annoying at times, you know, to go all the way to penalties and have to win it. But I'll tell you what you get, and yeah, we managed to pick up the win that we needed. So we got Christian Nemeth, which is pretty decent because he can go straight into the starting lineup for Glenn or Traposki and yeah we'll move on to Finland I mean we unlocked Finland and I decided that I would carry on in this group and I did uh, go to play Finland so yeah they play one striker as well just like Hungary did I think but it's um, a well known striker in Mikor Falsell and not some Rudolf Reindeer or something but yeah in the 36th minute Bjorn Helgerisa somehow manages to find a gap in, in between everything and everyone and yeah puts his one in luck which I was quite impressed but they came back straight away Falsell I think he hit the post there. I mean, I won't be surprised with this episode. But then in the 61st minute, they did manage to get back 4-0 and got the equaliser. Really annoyed with my keeper there. I mean, surely he could have 
just ran back to the goal and caught it and just picked up the ball rather than um, diving at a ridiculous place. But yeah, we had to move on from that and we did. Costasano hit the bar this time, not the post. He actually hit the bar. Woodwork still the same thing though in the 76th minute. And then Nemeth got forward. And on his debut, sweated it out to Swifty. And we did take a 90th minute goal, which did win us the match, as you can see here. The full time score was Finland 1, Propane Gaming HD 2. So, yeah, we're on a little bit of a roll, you know, we're picking up some decent players like Christian Nemeth. And right here, we picked up Ara Jury, who's not the best. I mean, he won't go into the starting lineup, but he does replace, you know, our reserve centre back. So, it's all good progress at the minute. And I decided to build the road to Swindon. Um, to Swindon, oh my god, I can't believe I just said to Swindon, but yeah, I, d I decided to play Swindon, so yeah, we go from Finland to Swe um, to Swindon, not Sweden, why why would I be saying Sweden, come on, I'm not playing Sweden, but yeah, just look at the quality of their team, guys, Lassen Ibrahimovic, Johan Amanda, Kim Kalsham, Isaacson in goal, oh, so Swindon have got a quality team, and in their foot... 15th minute, Swifty had a great shot, but it was well saved by the keeper. And then into the 20th minute, we picked up the ball with that guy again, Swifty. He laid it off to Costanzo, and he managed to fire it into the back of the net. And I went crazy at this point. I was like, get in. We're beating Swindon Town. You know, you know, this is just incredible. How can we be beating Swindon Town? They're such a good team. But unfortunately, they did manage to get back, and the quality of the play was just sometimes too difficult for me, as you can see, there's Latin Ibrahimovic, Ronaldo chopping, I think, uh, past my defender, but he did hit the post yet again, another post that has been hit, and then, coming out in the second half, they didn't hit the post, they got it in between the posts, and they put it into the back of the net, for 1-1, one, one, there's Latin Ibrahimovic, and I thought at this point, maybe they might go on and, you know, take the win, because they seem to be playing that way, but I was totally wrong, Bjorn Helgerisa stepped up yet again and fired it into the back of the net to put us 2-1 up and again I was over the moon, I was thinking get in, come on, if we can keep it, Netherlands will be unlocked, another group will be unlocked, this is quality progress, we will get an almost you know, brilliant player, possibly 70 rated, who knows. Unfortunately, though, in the 71st minute, uh, uh, probably possibly a foul on the keeper. I don't know. The keeper didn't grab the ball like he should have. And the ball fell to Elmander in, um, not in goal. It fell to Elmander, who was like two yards out of the goal or something. And he managed to head it away. But then we had that chance to take the lead. We then had this chance to take the lead. We then had this chance to take the lead, but obviously it hit the post, and yeah, I mean, we just blew them all the time, and then we had another chance to take the lead, and it just didn't happen, and then in the 90th minute, we got a penalty, and you're, you're thinking now, surely I can't miss, there was four or five chances, and missed the penalty in the 90th minute to step on my win, but like I said, I've been on a roll of missing penalties, and the keeper's been guessing the right way all the time, and he did exactly the same again, so... We had to settle for that, and it was 2-2 at full time, even though we dominated them, like, properly dominated them to to an agree, to a degree where they were just traumatised. And unfortunately, they had some beautiful play outside on the edge of the box. I managed to get a 94th minute goal, which did annoy me to a level of annoyance really I mean I don't even know what I'm saying now like eight nine minutes into the video and I'm going crazy we had a final chance in the 120th minute to put it into the back of the net unfortunately though Isaacson stood up well again and the game finished there and then so yeah we did lose this time we lost 3-2 to Swindon but fair enough we put up a really good effort and we should have really won I mean look at these stats 18 shots we had to their five nine on target to their four 59 percent possession to their 41 and oh when you lose games like that, and it's just so annoying. I mean, we'd have picked up such a good player, but instead we've now lost the road to Sweden, so we'll have to beat Finland again. So, okay, to end the episode, we'll have an easy game against Luxembourg. And I was wrong. I mean, the game didn't get going at all. It was really, really drab. And then in the 56th minute, they somehow got in the lead. I mean, I th I'm going to blame my keeper yet again. I've been blaming my keeper a lot this episode, but it's just annoying as hell and then in the 77th minute we had one final chance and we put it against the woodwork for the final time in this episode I mean if any of you guys want to count how many times we have hit anyone has hit the woodwork and then us especially because I know we've hit it a lot more that would be absolutely amazing because this has just been crazy the amount of times we have actually hit those that frame of the goal so I'm gonna end this episode here and I am a bit down because I, I put up such a good fight against Sweden and lost and then Came up against Luxembourg, and it was just the boringest of boring games. And we did manage to pick up a defeat, which you know isn't great at all because it means that we lose 
a road between Luxembourg and Belarus. So yeah, we're going to have to move on from that and hopefully get back at it next episode and get onto another winning streak and make some progress somewhere, somehow, and get some decent plays because I know that's what you guys want to see. So yeah, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to leave it a like, leave it a comment, especially with how many times we hit the woodwork, they hit the woodwork. That would be really, really appreciated. And any comment you want. Also, don't forget to check out my channel. I've been doing a Euro preview at the minute. I will be carrying that on, doing Euro reviews like every other day, something like that, just talking about the games, my opinions, etc., etc. So, yeah, anyway, guys, you've been awesome, as always, and peace out.